Peter Hopkins calling in with an update of Equine IR Day 2. Today we had the chance to go through a little bit of review this morning right before we headed off for the our, our hands-on training at the Orlando Mounted Patrol uh, Department, Police Department. These are the uh, horses that they use and, and a lot of activities from crowd control to uh, general uh, uh, big and large events that they have. We're working with Officer Bonnie Nantes who, who's had a chance to let us know a little bit about how the patrol is used and how these horses are very effective um, working events. In fact, they stated that that one uh, of these horses is equivalent to a hundred officers when it comes to uh, you know getting people controlled and, and organized. So, anyways, United Infrared is very uh, privileged to have the opportunity to come here and work with these horses. Equan IR, all of our students are getting a good chance to uh, see the uh, obvious things that we can see. Uh, with thermal imaging, as you can see on the screen. If you'd I'd like to find out more about equine thermal imaging and how you can become a technician, you can go to equineir.com. On the trail with Peter Hopkins, we're calling in from an update from the Barn Isle, where we're doing some hands-on training here at the Orlando Police Department. Uh, a couple of students will kind of catch up with you with how it's going. Blaine, uh, where are you from, and, and how's the class going for you so far? In Central Alberta in Canada, and it's going really good. We're learning lots, and uh, lots to see here. So it's uh, amazing technology. By, now, by trade, what is it that you do for a living up in uh, Canada? I'm a farrier by trade. I've been a farrier for the last 10 years, and a couple of years ago I started into pension release through massage therapy on horses as well. Now, how did you learn about thermal imaging? I had a client actually go up to the World Equestrian Games, and she came back with this information and talked to me about it. And when she decided that she didn't want to do it, she said it would be a good add-on to my business, and I agreed and went forth and got here. So Now that we're on day two of the class, what do you think? Do you think you've learned a few things that can help you be a better farrier, do a better job for the clients? What do you think with this technology? Yeah, it's more helping the horses. I guess once you become a farrier, you're eventually you want to be doing more of the lamest stuff and uh, that sort of type of work and that's where I'm headed with this stuff is to do more lameness and uh, helping horses and horse owners. Well, absolutely. Thanks so much for uh, sharing with us. You know, as uh, opportunities with uh, thermal imaging, this is the physiological aspect. You know, many people go to anatomical imaging like x-ray. Well, x-ray only sees the bone structure, but it does not see the soft tissue uh, and opportunities. Um, you know, here we have Andy Kazian, I'm going to put you on the spot. What are you thinking about the class so far? Oh, this is a great class. I'm, in, I'm gaining the confidence in which I can take this and go and uh, see the horse owners in, the, in my area and help them solve the problems with their horses. Well, that's a lot of what we work with is the mystery lameness. Jerry, you've had a chance to kind of go through this class a little bit so far. We're only on day two and we got so much more to go. It actually starts once you go home. What do you think so far on the class? I think it's awesome. This, uh, all the, the information that you guys give us about the, the horses and actually how to take all the pictures. Um, it's incredible. It's incredible what Joanna does uh, for the horse. Um, you put on the horses. So far we've had two hands-on experiences. We went to Arabian Nights and here we're at the uh, Mounted Patrol for the Orlando Police Department. Uh, what do you think about the quality of horses and the things you're seeing in the infrared? I'm amazed on how big the horses are sitting here at the police department. Well, that's, well they, they, you know, I think that everybody who has horses, especially with performances, the opportunity is to help them. And I think that's why we're here is to expose them to the opportunities that thermal imaging does. And we hope that, uh, you know, you, you follow along with us with uh, our YouTube account and our, uh, our blog. And you can see more about how Equine IR is helping the horse. This is Peter Hopkins for EquineIR.com.